like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tashina Beauty. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button because I don't know if you know, girl, but I bring you affordable hair and now makeup on a budget. And if you're oldie but a goodie, thank you for rocking with me. Let's jump right into this video. Now, this video is a little bit different from my hair video and from my makeup tutorial. I'm actually going to talk about drugstore makeup and... Uh, drugstore makeup as in foundation, concealer, and setting powder and what I would recommend and how affordable are they and are they even worth the price. Okay, let's jump in. Now I do have expensive makeup. I don't really buy them that often because honestly I find it hard to take up $40 or $50 and spent on a foundation at times now I love expensive foundations like I love Fenty I love Lancome I love Laura Mercier I like all of them honestly because they're nice um, but at the same time not all the time I can afford those and so I go for the drugstore makeup and I've been wearing drugstore makeup for a while I don't have anything I don't have a problem with drugstore makeup once you have a good um, base you can work with almost anything because some drugstore makeup I would not even suggest you spend your money on some may work for some uh, it may and may not work for others so it's all about what works for you now these that I'm going to talk about is based on what works for me. I don't know what will work for you. I suggest you try stuff out, do your research, see if someone else who have the same skin type as you, if it worked for them, maybe work for you. That's how I try drugstore makeup. I actually looked at a lot of people on YouTube. So it worked for them. And sometimes I actually just tried stuff out to see what worked for me. Um, so the thing that we're going to start with off with is actually going to be foundation. I love foundation. Now, um, it's hard at times to get a good foundation. I mix my foundations. Now, right now, my face is lighter than my neck because I'm not going anywhere. So I'm not going to bring it down to my neck. If I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going to bring this down to my neck. It is late at night and I'm going to wipe this off and take a shower and go to bed. And obviously my neck is not the same color as my face right now or my hands because I had a baby and I said this before and it was a rough pregnancy so my neck color is a little bit darker which is common that does happen and I don't bring foundation down to my neck very often because it breaks me out certain foundation breaks me out actually a lot of foundation breaks me out and I don't bring it down to my neck because I get bumps on there so yeah I wait till my my neck is a little bit dark, um, lighting up so I will match my face to my neck now we're just gonna start off with Rimmel now Rimmel, um, these it was this brand, and I don't know if that's gonna show up really well, but Rimmel is this brand, and I love it. I use their Stay Matte Rimmel London. I use their Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation, and the color I've been using is Warm Caramel in the color 502, and I mix that crazy thing. I mix that with their Warm Beige 403. Now this was actually a mistake. The reason why I say this was a mistake was because I actually end up liking this foundation by a whim and a sale. Now I went to a store in my area that was closing down. I think it was called what what the name of that store was? I can't remember, but it was like um kind of this grocery store, not 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 grocery store, but it was like this it was similar to a big lots, but not really. It was 
Big Care or something. I can't remember. Um, Big Care or something like that was closing down. And I went there and they had to say all makeup. So I picked up this color. color, And actually, no, I picked up this color. Right? Because... I was like, oh, I don't know what color it is inside because sometimes the packaging on the outside does not do what the color was in the inside and I, and I didn't open it up. And then I realized this color was too light so I went back the same day and got this color which was really darker. And I mixed these two. Now at the time it was summertime so this color alone worked for me. Um, and then when winter time come I mixed these two and I got a perfectly good shade um and i love them together this is kind of a thick creamy consistency so i get a really good coverage sometimes i only wear this foundation by itself without powder or concealer or you know what i mean like or even highlighting and contouring sometimes i just wear this foundation by itself because it just kind of it kind of just give my face like a nice finish without adding anything extra so i really suggest that if you're looking for a foundation that's creamy it's a good consistency i would suggest this the remo london stay matte this is great i'm actually running out of this i need to get some back i am running to the store eventually to get this back now the another one that i actually was using before this and it was my go-to foundation forever was actually the revlon nearly naked um it's there and i have it in the color 240 toast and this is what it looks like now i used to use this all throughout high school um every time i went to go get a foundation this is what i used to get the revlon the revlon and i like it it works it's really a liquid based foundation so it's a bit watery and it kind of is a little bit sheer you see but i build it up a little bit but i loved this um this color actually was my rifle color until i had kids and then my skin started getting a little bit darker but this actually worked for me really well especially in winter time this was at my perfectly good shade i didn't have to mix it as I said before, I mix a lot of my foundation, but this one, I didn't really mix that much. I like how it is. And this is, wasn't like, I think this was not in the, anywhere more than $8. The same for the Remo, um, London. Yeah, these foundation are like $10 and up or, or less, to be honest with you. I think the most you may pay for a drug for a foundation is $15, which is not bad compared to what these big brands are selling foundation for. I actually like the Revlon. Um, let me know if you guys have tried this what you think about it because I know some people actually tried this foundation don't really like it because it kind of break them out not really sure what's going on with that but some people's skin tone don't work some of the skin type I should say don't work with certain foundation now the next one is actually I would say my old time bestie right here now i'm looking for the other one which i'm pretty sure my daughter yeah my daughter probably took it away and hid it somewhere oh no she didn't oh the lies that i tell my own kid anyways it's the fit me uh matte poreless foundation and this is the I have this in the color 355 and 340 now 355 is my summer shade it is really really nice and it's dark and rich and then 340 is my winter shade and at times I do mix these two to get me a really good um, warm color for well either one actually and yeah and it works for me. I love the Fit Me um, brand by Maybelline. I love Maybelline actually, the brand itself. So I like all their products that they have now. This is liquid. This is, this is a liquid foundation. Also, I use a brush sometimes, or if, if I'm feeling like I need to use my beauty blender, I use my beauty blender to get this. Actually, so the so this I would suggest you use um, a brush to apply it with. If you have a beauty blender. You can do that, but I would suggest using a brush and you stipple this into your face. The Remel, I would suggest you use a beauty blender and you also stipple it into your face. But the blend, the beauty blender, for some reason, gives me a better application than a, than a foundation brush when I use Remel. And a foundation brush goes better when I use liquid-based foundations. Now, this this my only downside with this is sometimes I feel like I break out when I use this. 
let me explain if I do not prime my face really good meaning I use rose water on my face I guess I use a lot of stuff I use rose water on my face and then I spray it with um, and then I prime it like I put it was this hydrating serum that I got from TJ Maxx which is great if you don't know you should try TJ Maxx and you're looking for good brushes they have a lot of stuff going on at TJ Maxx they have a good makeup section so check out TJ Maxx and they have good deals on lipstick and stuff like that and then I use um, the, a primer now sometimes I use and I don't know if anyone ever tried this but I use milk of magnesia for a primer don't don't knock it till you try it. when you use milk of magnesia for your primer you put it on your face and you wait till it dries up you don't need a whole lot you need a little bit to put on your face till it when it dries up when I use milk of magnesia I do not break out but when I do not and I tried these all these primers fancy primers regular primers for our drugstore primers I still break out but when I use milk of magnesia I get a really good not even only smooth application but my face does not break out that much I do have sensitive skin and I am easily um, easily bro um, breaking out I don't know why because it was never like that in the past but I'm telling you try milk of magnesia for a base and it will do, like just try it and let me know what happens for you but again this is the fit me um foundation this is the color 355 and 340 highly suggest now i actually picked up a new foundation recently well, not recently about a month ago and i've been using it consistently and it's by the brand collab I went to Sally Beauty Supply Store and I was kind of like walking by and I saw that they had like um, a foundation. They always had a makeup section, but I do not look at their makeup section, makeup section because in my area they only cater to the lighter skin girls, not lighter skin girls, the white girls, and they do not have my color. Now I don't. I'm not saying that to knock Sally Beauty Supply. I'm saying that because I live in a dominantly white neighborhood we there's hardly any black people where we live so i don't think they're gonna it makes sense for them to stock up on something that honestly there's not a lot of people to buy um they had a few color ranges there so i'm like okay let me see what they have and they had this brand called the cola so i'm like oh that looks like a nice brand i asked a girl about it and she's like yeah a lot of people have tried it they really like it and stuff like that you should try it out so i'm like oh okay so I asked her if any college kids bought it. Now I asked her because when college is in session where I live, because we have a state university where we are, a lot of African American kids are here and they go to Sally Beauty Supply because it, you, your options are to Sally Beauty Supply, Walmart, TJ Maxx, there's not really much options here. We're just getting an Ulta Beauty and we just got a Sephora. Like we don't have much options here you either buy yourself online or you work with a drugstore makeup or now we just got a Sephora so you can get your expensive makeup but I normally would have to order it line online or I go down a little bit further from where I live or New York City and you get different stuff so I asked if any college kids bought it she said yeah a couple of them and they liked it so yeah so a good thing about um, this brand collab right when you go to Sally Beauty Supply and you try this you have a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like it you can return it or you can exchange it actually for your perfect shade now when I picked this up I picked up a really dark shade and I thought it didn't work for me but what actually I should have kept that because when I contour when actually when I highlight I don't need to contour because it was like the perfect color um, this one now I actually have to put in some work it's not bad it's really nice I like it it's their meet your mate um, the color I have is the number 10 it works I love it uh, I use this this is actually what I used in my makeup tutorial I really like this foundation it kind of gives it gives me a good coverage I don't normally like to build up my foundation because honestly I don't like to feel cakey so I normally try to cover my face in that one sweep and go so that is it for my foundations as in drugstore foundations that I've tried I have not tried anymore I will try to see if I can try some other foundations and let you guys know what my thoughts are on them but so far my drugstore makeup foundation consists of the Rimmel the Fit Me the Maybelline Fit Me the Revlon 
and Collab, which is a new brand, and they're by they're actually selling in um what's the store that just say? You know what I just said. In S Sally Beauty Supply, jeez Louise, you see what I'm saying? Sally Beauty Supply store. Try them. Let me know. They're really really good. Let's jump into concealers. Now, what I have for concealers are actually, mm, I don't know. Okay, we 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 we're gonna talk about it. Now, this is my newest purchase. This was this is by Maybelline. I told you I love Maybelline, and it's their Age Rewind um, Eraser Dark Circle Concealer. I'm almost out of it. I have a little bit left in the bottom of this. I need to go repurchase this. I love this concealer. This concealer is really, really nice. Now, this is in the color Golden Do Golden Dory. What the heck is the color? Yeah, I guess that's the color Golden Dory. Now, I just went and just... Let me tell you something about makeup. When I go in the store, I don't really get color match. I look, okay, that make him work for me. I can mix these two. Maybe I'll get a good color. That's me. Because I don't have time to stand there and have someone color match me. And I don't like opening products and stuff like that. So, yes. This is what I did. I looked at it. And I'm like, that could work for me. And it did work for me. I love this. The, I love the applicator brush. thing that annoys me is that you keep having to wind it up. Now, I get it, I get it, but it's annoying that whole, it takes a while to wind up, but get this concealer, it's worth it. Everyone on the internet actually was raving about this, and I can see why. It is definitely, definitely worth it. Maybelline has been coming out and doing um, an amazing job with their products. Get this concealer. Now, the other concealer that I, everyone talks about and everyone and their mama has these concealer is the LA, Gay, LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is what they look like. These two colors are actually in HD High Definition Concealer. What the heck? Which color is this? C GC972 Natural and this is what color? Medium beige. So I have natural and medium beige. None of these are actually my color, really, for a concealer to highlight. So this one is more, I can get away easily with it by itself. This one, I use it when I want to look really, really light underneath my eyes. And normally that's when I'm going clubbing or something, which I honestly, to be honest with you, I don't really do. But I use this when I want to get really, like a really dramatic look under my eyes I, but I don't use it by itself I use it with like a different color concealer like with the Maybelline I would add a little bit of one of these to actually make it a little bit lighter and yeah these are great I use these to do to actually shape out my eyebrows though when I like when I'm actually shaping them out I use these and then I go over back with it with foundation. It kind of gives me like an under highlight through my foundation. So these work. These work great. And I actually have used these before where before I put my foundation on, I've actually contoured with this underneath my foundation. Then I put my foundation on top of it. Then I put another concealer to highlight again. Listen, it, sometimes a girl do a lot, but all girls do at times when it comes on to makeup I think we all can agree about that but these inexpensive 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 we listen I told you before English is my second language at least that's what we keep telling ourselves but these are great but the prices on them keep going up so LA girl I'm gonna need you guys to stop putting up the prices okay just stop it just stop it we are already out here in these YouTube regular people streets struggling okay paying taxes and stuff stop raising the prices on these okay stop doing it now let's jump into what else i have for a concealer um now i have the la color concealer this concealer don't I, we're not going to talk about her we just got her it's not worth it um now the wet and wild i've only used it a couple times don't really know if 
the wet and wild wet and wild I don't even know if this is really uh, so I tried this concealer it's not really all that honestly it's okay it doesn't really it is quite sheer so in order to get you a good look you gotta mix it with like an LA girl concealer or the instant age rewind but it's affordable and hence it's in my drugstore makeup um, haul now my next concealer we're gonna move on to is the cover girl concealer and it's the clean invisible concealer the color is fair clear obviously this now this concealer when I got it, I got it because I never used to contour and highlight. Um, I just got it. With this I've had this for a minute, so I got this because I wanted to have my eyeshadows pop. So this is what I actually used to use it for was to prime my eyes. But this is a really good consistency for um, for a concealer, and I would highly suggest you guys try it. Sometimes lately I've been putting this under my eyes also to brighten it up with one of the other concealers. So you should try this out. CoverGirl actually has a really good stuff. Try them out. This is not my color. Obviously, I know that I use this to make my eyeshadows pop. But lately, I think I'm gonna try their concealers again to find I'm gonna try to find my own shade for my under eyes and see you how it goes. Um, so yeah, CoverGirl Concealer, really, really like that. Uh, I think my last, this is my last one. So my last concealer that I have is actually by the brand Colab. So I have their foundation and I have their concealer, which is almost finished. And I do have it in the color Caramel slash Tawny. Yeah, so... I like this. It is a good consistency. Um, I do put up quite a lot to get a good coverage underneath my eye, but it's nice. It works really well with the formula of their foundation. So if you're going to get the Colab foundation, try their concealer also. It's really, really good. It is affordable. It's really in inexpensive. When I bought these from Sally Beauty Supply, if you buy a couple products from them, like you buy the foundation, the concealer, and stuff like that, if you spend a certain amount of money, you do get their foundation brush. And it's the foundation brush is amazing. In. it's great for it's a great application brush it's a great foundation brush I use that brush in my makeup tutorial and I suggested it to you guys if you don't buy anything from the brand collab go ahead and go get their brushes it's really nice matte black and it's just great it's a great dense brush I mean it the bounce back on it is really good it does it's not a it doesn't feel cheap it's really good someone put a lot of thoughts into their brush now I wish they put a lot of thoughts into their color range but that's another story I digress but this is really really good try the brand collab let me know what you think let's move into powders I'm moving into powders because I do not have contour sticks a girl contour with, with powder at the moment I don't have a contour yeah I ran out of all of those when I do restock I will let you guys know what I use on my face now the most inexpensive one here is gonna be the airspun now I picked this up from Walmart. This was like five bucks, and this is a big, this is a big setting powder. This is their um, loose face um, setting powder, and it's, um, it's the original formula. It's this one. It's nice. It's white. Now this one, I use this to. So before I put on foundation, I literally put powder and set my whole face before I put on foundation. When you put powder on your face, it mats out everything, kind of like smooths everything out. Then you put foundation on and it just gives you this really good coverage. It actually helps you to save 
on um, foundation because you are not having to literally stipple into all your pores and cover all that up this kind of just matte out all your pores and then you have your foundation down and it just did it, it's just great now i this hair spun was like five dollars the first one I was going to get it, I was like, no way, that is too light. I don't like loose powder that are light because I don't like how they look. Now, you have to figure out what works for you with this because this can be a little bit difficult to handle. Um, yeah, it, 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 I eventually figured out how, how to work it. So I really, really like this. I use, I, sometimes I mix this with my other loose powders to give me a really good I don't know light color underneath my eyes but when you wipe this away it kind of just goes away so I would suggest you try this out the airspun very inexpensive inexpense inexpense that word it's very cheap so it will work try this out um, the next one I've had for a while don't know how much it was cost because I got it someone bought me this but Thought I would include it because I used it for years. It's the CG <clears throat> and it's their professional loose powder and I have it in the color 115 and this is what it looks like. This is really nice. It's kind of like the hair spun. It's a little bit like darker. Not so bad. It's really really good. It sets my face really good. I like it. Does the job well. Don't know how much it costs but pretty sure it's, it, it's, it's gonna it's worth it. I bought this one. The next one I have is by Ruby Kisses and it's their Set and Forget Setting Powder, 16 Hour Flawless Wear, and it's in the color Banana RRSP02, and it looks like this. Now, when I ordered this um, setting powder, I ordered it off of Amazon. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, but it was like this tiny little thing. And I was not happy, but you, I should have read a lot better. But it actually turned out to be a really good setting powder. I liked it. I used it for a while. And honestly, you don't need a lot of setting powder unless you're a person who can, who bakes a lot. Because I have a lot of setting powders, and honestly, I don't know when I'm gonna need to replace these because it's there are a lot. The, the amount that I have in them, there are a lot. And I don't do makeup every single day. I will be doing makeup, and a, makeup a lot more often because of my YouTube videos. But all these setting powders, honestly, I will replace foundation, concealer, lipstick, maybe not lipstick, lip gloss and stuff like that before I replace setting powder. Okay, so this is by Ruby Kisses. Really nice. It's definitely like a, it's a yellow color banana. So you, it will give you that like this yellow looking underneath. So think about that when you're going to get this. But it's really affordable. Really nice. Again, setting powder. I love this one. Now, my another one that I got was and is again by Colab. I like collab setting powder i got it because i wanted to try foundation the concealer and the setting powder and the formulas do work together the color that i have this in what's the is the set the stage ultra fine loose powder the color where's the color where is the Oh, so this is Almond Caramel. The, the shade that I have it in is Almond Caramel. And it really is nice. Like, it works great for girls of my skin color. It is wonderful. I really do like the color. I mix this with the Airspun, and it gives me a good coverage. So I highly suggest you try Colab Setting Powder. Very inexpensive. Inexpensive. Last but not least is definitely the OG. It's the Fit Me. Um, maybe by Maybelline, it's their loose finishing powder in the color number 30, medium deep. And I've been using this, I've heard a lot of people on YouTube rave about this. I actually really, really love this. I highly suggest it. I can't get enough of this. I will be purchasing this color actually in a darker color. It is great, and I love the sifter. 
in here it's like the great you get enough out it's, it's just really really good so the fit me by maybelline suggest you try this one out if you have not this is actually out of everyone i would say try the fit me setting powder um but if you want something a little bit cheaper the iris bun works really really well and as for concealers i would say the Maybelline, gotta go with Maybelline again. The Maybelline Age or One Instant Age or One Concealer works really, really well. I would suggest this is my all-time favorite. Get this one. But if you can't, LA Girl Pro Concealer, everyone, no one, it's never disappointed anyone. So you can try the LA Girl Pro Concealer. But I honestly, who? This is my favorite one. As for foundation, I'm going with the Collab at the moment because the Maybelline Fit Me is breaking me out. And unless I use, <sighs> yeah, unless I use Makeup Magnesia, it just doesn't, yeah, I'm going with Collab for now. Um, Revlon comes in second. <clears throat> Sorry, Maybelline, I gotta put you in third for that one. Actually, no, no. Remmel. Sorry, Collab. Remmel is my all-time favorite. Remmel gives me that great coverage, and it's smooth, and it's nice. Then I'm gonna hit it with the Collab. Maybelline is obviously in fourth place. For now, for now. But I love them all. They're all great brands. They're all great drugstore and they're all affordable. You can find these in your probably your local beauty supply. You can probably find them at Walmart. You can find my like TJ Maxx. You, there's a lot of places you can go to find these. You can find these at Kinney Drugs. You can find this a lot. And this obviously this is a drugstore makeup brand. You can find them in your drugstore. So these are the things that I like. This is what I've used. Now, if you guys have any suggestion out there of what you think I should try for a foundation, concealer, anything, let me know um, in the description, in the comments, comment section down below. Now, I will be trying to do more found not foundation more affordable haul like these when it comes on to makeup along with my hair videos i'm also going to try to do a lot more makeup tutorial so i'll look out for those coming soon and i'm bringing some other stuff content to my channel um yeah so i am happy and excited about all the new stuff that i'm bringing to you guys i hope you guys are too um so again thank you guys for stopping by do check out my other videos do hit the subscribe button because i i you watch the video to the end so by the way you hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell so you can get notified when i do upload my videos i do not have a set schedule right now i've just been doing videos and uploading them but when i do have a set schedule i'll let you guys know um this is your girl tashina thank you guys for watching and until next time bye